Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my stocks signals video for Monday the 30th of April, where I choose just one of the signals from our stocks signals membership area. So if we go to the members area here, I'm going to be looking at short trades, but our members get both long and short trades on the weekly, daily and 60 minute time frames every day. So when the members click on there, we get the image to download the stocks short signals for today. We click on there and then we can have a look at the spreadsheet. So I've actually chosen 60 minute time frame today as an example and chosen one of those potential shorts on the 60 minute time frame. So let's have a look at a chart. So I've chosen AVGO on the 60 minute time frame for the short. So first of all, uh, this is the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for Ninja Trader from Wave5Trade.com. And uh, we also do it for Think or Swim, Trade Station and Multi Charts. So for those members that have the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, it's very, very simple for the wave isolation here. We've got the highs up here on the 17th of April and then from then we um, we isolate and then we've got our automated Elliott Wave count. Uh, the wave one, the wave two had the big gap down, which is a catalyst for the sell off here on the wave three on the 60 minute time frame for AVGO. So let's just zoom in a little bit there. OK, so for the signals membership, we get some filters on there, some basic filters. The 535 oscillator here uh, has pulled back between 90 and 140 percent there. So that's a good thing. Uh, the stochastic has pulled back against the main bearish trends. You can see with the yellow dots here, it's a very strong. There's a lot of false breakouts of the stochastic there. It's pulled back against there on the wave four pullback. The wave four has pulled back against the main trend and found resistance in our green zone. So this is a 85% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five low into our automated target zone down here around about 223. So very, very, very simple to set this up. We want the stop loss just above the wave four here. This is quite an expensive stock, so we need to be about 10, 15 cents above that wave four. So something like 23440, something like that for the stop loss. And then with the entry, we will always look for the 6-4 moving average low, which is part of our indicator suite here for an entry strategy. So when we want to be below that for the first hour um, candle for the session on the 30th of April. So we've also gone a little bit lower just to get through this resistance level from this previous day uh, because of this gap that formed on Friday. So very conservative entry here at $230.40 to go short, but it still gives us a really good risk to, reward, risk to reward of one to almost two, one to two on the risk to reward there to our automated target zones uh, of around two to three dollars there. So very, very simple to set up our stock scanners membership get signals like this every day, the weekly, the daily, the 60 minute time frame. I've just chosen one example on the 60 minute time frame just to show you very briefly the filters and how to set this up. All we're looking for is that wave four pullback against the main trend and then the price returning back to the main trend. And in this case, it's the bearish trend for this 60 minute time frame on AVGO. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.